As viewers of my channel know, I have been sending air tags all around the world and tracking their whereabouts on a website. Probably the most common question I got is, how do you do it? In this video I will explain step by step how you can lock your AirTag location to a text file using an iMac or a PowerBook. I'm sure with this information a lot new applications will be built by other folks. This is just a simple how-to video and my own script is way more advanced as you see at the end of this video. In my very first AirTag video of May 2021, I showed how I used an Apple script to take screenshots of the Find My app every few minutes, and I used this to make the first video. However, this came with a big downside. It left me with a lot of images to sort through, and while this idea was working for just one AirTag, sending out 16 AirTags would create a serious workload with thousands of images a week. For the first few months I came up with a rather simple solution. Take a screenshot, crop the region with the address info and use optical character recognition to convert the address from the image into data. Then using the Google Geocode API I added coordinates to this data. While this process was working relatively smooth it did have some flaws. Optical character recognition is not always spot on and it creates problems with addresses written in foreign languages. Also, if the address is not very exact, like this one, you can geocode it and get the exact coordinates. But as you people know, I did create maps like this. So how did I do that? My first thought was that since the Find My app shows the maps with the data, I could maybe read the data from the IMAX memory. However, attempts to do this turned out to be rather fruitless. Then in September 2021, I noticed that when I started to find my app, it always showed the last location of the AirTags. This meant the location was saved somewhere on my iMac. After a bit of searching, I found the file. It's a JSON file and it shows the exact location of the AirTags, including a lot of metadata like battery status, precision, the location and all the geocoded information including points of interest. In this video I will explain how you can convert this information into an Excel or Numbers compatible file and have it lock the location every minute. So let's get started. The first step is easy. Create a folder on your desktop named AirTags. Keep in mind the A is a capital since everything is case sensitive. Since this is a terminal script, next we need to give the terminal access to your disk. You can do this from System Preferences, click Security and Privacy, click Full Disk Access and click the Unlock symbol. Enter your MAC password and enable Terminal. The next step is to open the Terminal window. The Terminal window can be found under Utilities or by simply typing Terminal in Spotlight. Type the command cd and push enter. This will make you enter the user home directory in case you were not there. Then type cd desktop slash airtags followed by enter. Again, this is all case sensitive. You are now inside the folder you just created on your desktop. The next step is to install the JSON query utility. JQ is a small tool to query JSON files and it can be installed using Homebrew. If you go to brew.sh in your browser, you will find a link to install Homebrew. Just copy the link and paste it into your terminal window. Once it asks for the password, enter the password for your iMac. During the installation it can also download the command line tools for Xcode. This can take a while. So now we're going to install the JSON query tool. To do this, we type brew install jq and we wait for it to run. So once this is done, you have all the tools you need to make the script run. Next step is to download the script. You do this by typing git clone followed by the git file as you can see here in the screenshot. You can also copy it from the video description below. 
Now go into the script directory by typing cd airtag alex. Also, this is case sensitive. And we already reached the last step to make the script run. We need to make the script executable. Quick and dirty method is to type chmod 700 airtagalex.sh. Also again, this is all case sensitive. Now we are ready to run the script. Simply type this command and push enter. Depending on the number of AirTags you have in the Find My app, it will run for a while. It's done once you get the message sleeping for one minute. This script will rerun itself after a minute. Make sure you keep the Find My app in the foreground while running this script in the background. In the AirTags folder you will find an AirTags.csv file that you can open by double clicking it. As you can see, all the AirTag data is in this file, neatly organized, and you see stuff like serial number, location data, coordinates, textual data of its location, range precision, and even battery information. The columns containing product and vendor identifier are always the same for me. I guess if you have different products in the Find My app, it will show something else. Please let me know in the comments. System version is the AirTags firmware version. I found out AirTags only update when they are with the owner's iPhone. Updates can happen as quickly as 30 minutes after being within reach, I noticed. The battery status seems to be 1 when it's 100%, 2 when it's 80%, and so on. 4 seems to be the lowest indicator when it's red. Location position is how the AirTag has been found. As you can see here, all of these were found by third parties. It sometimes shows peer proxied and that happens when an iPhone of the same household but a different account is discovering the device. It also shows real time sometimes, meaning that it's with my own iPhone. The coordinates can be pasted into Google Maps and you can see that this AirTag is now in Pripyat near Chernobyl. The timestamp is the moment the AirTag was discovered. If you convert the timestamp to a date and time, you will see that sometimes it can take hours between discovery and you actually receiving the information via the Find My network, given you run the script every minute or so. Vertical accuracy never worked for me. The horizontal accuracy is the great circle you see in the Find My app. The higher the number, the less accurate the location of the AirTag. These three columns give you some information how accurate and how correct the information is. More interesting are the exact address labels. It even includes three areas of interest. So sometimes it shows the airport here, but also the name of a landmark. The downside of this method is that your iMac has to be on all the time. So how did I move this to an iPad? Well, it's actually quite simple. On the iPad, the same JSON files are present. Using the CheckRain jailbreak on an iPad or iPhone with iOS 14.5 up to 14.7, you can actually do the same script with some tweaking. So my configuration right now is an old iPad Air 2 and an old iPhone 6S running the Find My app. A Raspberry Pi is pulling the JSON file off the phone and writing its data to a database. The database feeds stuff like the website, the Telegram channel, an old iPad 1 display, and even my Vesta board. Since all the AirTag information is data now, and my iPad and iPhone can be controlled by scripting, it even lights up when my motion sensor detects movement in my room. Even some basic controlling can be done remotely, like pushing the home button and restarting the app. I hope this little script worked for you guys and it will inspire you to do a lot more AirTag experimenting. I'm not going to actively maintain this script since I don't use it myself anymore. However, I hope this is a good starting point for many of you out there. If you end up using this information for a neat application, please drop me a line. A referral to my YouTube channel would be highly appreciated in your projects. Make sure to subscribe to my AirTag only channel where you can see videos of my AirTags traveling around the world to places like Afghanistan and Antarctica. 
If you want to help to make an air tech travel, please get in touch with me.